welcome to Stitchy Fix. I'm Victoria. This is my mom, Chris. Hi. And today is her birthday! <laughs> okay, sorry for headphones in. Chris is now, how old are you? 39 again. 39 again! She's sticking with 39, because then she would have had me when she was seven. <laughs> It's magical. It's magical. So, everybody in the comments, wish Chris a happy birthday. If you can. If you know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but by the time they see it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be exciting. Oh, yeah. By the time you see this, it will not be her birthday. But today. Bye. It's Friday. Filming on Friday. We usually film on a Wednesday. Schedule's all wacky, but I am officially on spring break! <laughs> so, I'm feeling alive. I have a lot of work to do over spring break, but... It's okay. <laughs> One day at a time. <laughs> yep. um, we started construction on our first floor to make a room for my husband's office mm -hmm. with the person that did the construction on Chris's house. Yay. So, and then we also put a, uh, like, we had a crawl space that just had the little square cut out. Mm -hmm. Put a door. You need Easier. a light switch. We need a light switch, yes, as well. But that's what's going on here. Any life updates? I got the day to spend with Sophia today. Yep. Yeah. She's talking a lot. Yes. A lot. And just saying everything. Says, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Very she has nice. the intonation right, for sure. Yeah, she's got some of the sound, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's articulating something. Yes. And you know what it is. Immediately. Yes. We were at the store today and one of the cashiers, Zofia, found her favorite uh, frozen peas. And she was shopping for her frozen peas, hugging them down the aisle. <laughs> one of my cashiers brought her a very small little brown paper bag to put it in. And Miss Laura handed her the bag and she goes, thank you. <laughs> and Laura, who doesn't talk to her, she goes, you're welcome. Yeah. She <laughs> totally knew that it was that. Thank you. So, yeah. It's really fun. And uh, next week we're going on a trip. Disney World with all the million of other people. Yeah. We're only going for two days. It's going to be fine. Low. We're going to the park for two days. We're only going for three days, really. We leave on the last day. Yeah. It's a quick trip, and it's just, you got to have something to look forward to. <laughs> yes. So this was something to look forward to. And mm -hmm. um, I think there was a comment two questions ago, two videos ago, like, how am I doing? I'm not throwing up anymore, so praise the Lord. Thank goodness. Uh, I'll be 23 weeks pregnant, so cooking away. Um, have an extra ultrasound, but not throwing up. It was such a blessing. Yeah. It was such a treat <laughs> seeing her eat. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> she's going to eat that? You're eating that? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been eating. Yeah. And then, um... Another question was, do we do any other crafts or hobbies? Well, we read. Yeah. Um, I do know how to crochet. And I think Lauren wants to learn how to crochet. So I might help her do that. You sew. Oh, I sew a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah Chris sews. Part. Well, I mean, and theater was my hobby. Yeah. Yeah. I am still costuming the high school show, but not constructing, not like I used to. That was just coordinating rentals, but, mm -hmm. um, you also, we used to scrapbook back in the days of, mm -hmm. um, what was it called? Stitching? No. Scrapping up? Scrap? No. Stamp. Well, we used to stamp it up. up. That right. was another oh. thing we did. I forget. We used to scrapbook, um, mm -hmm. back in the day. Uh, yeah, we're crafty in that, like, we'll, like, Chris decoupage an entire entertainment center with I Love Lucy. <laughs> so, like, crafts, yes. I don't know, whatever category that falls into, we'll, right. like, craft things. We do like to craft. So, my work is going to do a fundraiser for um, Ukrainian Relief, and, of course, we're going to craft... Where I ordered the little sunflowers and chenille greens, chenille stems, so we're going to craft little uh, sunflowers with a short stem so we can give it to people when they make a donation. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of that, like the random stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have like a whole craft room downstairs. Here. Yeah, and I'm like constantly crafting for my classroom or right. whatever, so. Right. And Victoria is really good at chalk art. Oh, yeah, that was a face. No, you're still, you still have the ability, but she used to, just from looking at a Disney picture, 
she could chalk it on the sidewalk at her school. Specifically, she did a lot of it out in LA. Yeah, because the classrooms are like outside. Mm -hmm. I always try to like describe that to people in Illinois because like that would never work in Illinois because we have snow um, and like really cold, lots of weather. Um, whereas in LA, you don't really have that. So like you walk out the door of your classroom and you're not in a building, you're outside. So we had a sidewalk where the kids would line up and yeah, one year I was just like, I don't know, I'll just draw a little encouraging note for their state testing. And it was close to the end of the school year, so then I was like, I'll just do a countdown out here. So I just like kept moving down the sidewalk. It was very, very and then, cool. And then yeah, the castle is the... Yeah, thing. the castle is the last day. The, was that on the playground? No, was that's that just still outside of my classroom back in LA. Yeah, it's just like, fun. there's pathways. I don't know, it's just like a different experience yeah. being on schools in LA. And then here, during the pandemic, I did a couple. Um, yeah. So I don't know, whatever yeah. category I do, that I is do, in. I've done a couple of quilts. I gave you a Halloween quilt. Yeah? Yeah, anything sewing, Chris can do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like on, um, we celebrated Chris's birthday last Saturday, like as a family, and she had sewn Sophia a little dress, which you probably looking back, you could probably find in here. I think we showed it. Oh, okay. Um, and it was for my husband's Baby. birthday. Right, <laughs> Baby Yoda. No, it was like Princess Leia and Chewbacca and There's Baby Yoda. Yeah. But like all mixed up. Um, yeah. It was like I think a six month to twelve month dress. I think that's the size you did. Yeah. So she could grow into it. And so we put it on her when she was like two or three months old and <laughs> obviously it was too big. So we wore it again so Mimi could see her in her dress yeah, it was for her cute. birthday. And for two minutes she wore the headband too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hair accessories get quickly pulled out unless I do the little rubber thing. Yeah. yeah. Little plastics. Anyways, all that chit chat. That was so much chit chat. Oh my goodness, I'm so right. sorry. But um, let's get into the stitching. I have nothing to show you, um, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All my goal was this week was to survive, and I am alive, and I'm breathing, and I'm surviving. So I accomplished my goal. Excellent. Chris, what do you got going on? Um, well, I thought it'd be fun to show you a previous finish because I know a lot of people. Um, I should say more people are getting turned on to Primrose uh, cottage. cottage stitchers and quilts. They had a real big showing at Nashville Market. Um, they've been around longer than that. And last season, I um, stitched Spring Wishes and Bunny Kisses. Is that going to be? Let me try to get it up. Mm. Oh wait, it's because she's it's me. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is on Fabric Flare. I forget the name of it. And uh, just 14 count. Is it Berry Blast? I don't recall. To be honest, I don't recall. And I finished it just with um, fiber fill and a piece of teal cotton. Oops, teal cotton. Sorry, there you go. Isn't he cute? A little chocolate bunny. And actually, just to jump ahead a little bit, I found this at Michael's recently. And as we're waiting to get started, I'm like, look how cute this one look on the little chair. I'll put it on the chair. Need some lizard litter. Yeah, to hold it there. But this, these were still at Michael's, at our Michael's. And I thought a little finish can go on there if you wanted to. So that's a previous finish. Great. I just thought it'd be fun to show because everyone's thinking spring. Spring. Yeah, are ready for it here. I don't think it's warm enough yet, but. They, um, speaking of spring, I did finish my springtime serenade by Country Cottage Needleworks. And very proud of myself. And I, choopsy, I changed the color to um, a 14 count Ada. A navy blue Ada. Oh, let's see. Get it out first. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I, I don't know which of these things in, on this is I like better, but I definitely like the little bluebirds. Are those not the cutest little bluebirds you've ever seen? As you notice, uh, the musical notes are in white. It called for a dark brown, obviously, to really reflect music notes. But I... Um, wouldn't show up on the navy. 
And now would you like me to point out my mistake? This design is from 2010, but I think it's just so adorable. And my stitchy friend Donna did it with me and she already showed hers on Instagram and she finished and she probably did not make the mistake I did. Looking at those gorgeous, cute little fences, they are symmetrical, but the one oopsie is in the two sections of the gate, there were supposed to be two columns, not just one. But after all the frogging I had to do, I'm really happy with it. There you go. It looks good. Thank that, you. that color navy's done a lot of stuff in our house, so. Yeah, it, nice. make, it makes it go with everything. It's a big piece, too. Yeah. Um, that was a new start. Okay. Shall I just keep going? Yeah, I have nothing to show, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so I made progress on Shannon Christine's. This one I love. Hippity hoppity. And I, oh shoot, I should, I should have brought the colors to tell you, but um, I did not do it on this natural color. Um, I did show this last week, so I had started it. It is on that um, for, uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Celadon, the fabric of the month. And look how far I got. Here's her colors. Her makes so much dimension. It, it is, and it's just like um, the love is in the air. Yeah. It's like the bunny's got gazillion colors in her, but geez, isn't it worth it? Yep. She just looks so good, and those straight lines. So I'm going to do the back stitching at the end, but that's, remember, I changed to the medium teal in the design for the wording, just so it shows up really well. And then even the Easter eggs have several colors in them. She's a genius with color. She really is. And it's our kind of colors, bright, not yes. prim. Right, I really, really like it. Okay, oh yeah, I guess I have two things. Um, and then, and then, so we're filming on Friday, which is the 25th. And typically we film Wednesday to Wednesday and we say, well, you usually want to stitch, cross stitch. We do Christmas cross stitch week, the last week that includes the 25th. So I wasn't sure exactly what week this day counts <laughs> in. And Sophia ended up taking the longest nap she's taken in like months here. She took an hour and 42 minute, minute nap. So I had some time to stitch and I made progress on some of this other stuff, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the 25th. I've got to get a Christmas item in. So I need to make prog, I made some little, 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 little progress on Sophia's dimension stack, um, stocking, critter stack. Stocking. I know I was trying to think of the right order of the name. Mm -hmm. Stack of critters. And he's gonna be so cute. And I did get the blue on the <clears throat> started on the package onto the toe. So there's only I'll hold this up here, maybe. You can see when a project takes long the picture gets messed up. So you can see where the blue packages on the toe. Look at me close. That's where I am. And you can see on the toe, I just have a little bit, another little package, and then a little bit of white snow. And that will be <gasps> done. And her name. Well, and her name, yeah. Yeah. I didn't put Colin, I didn't put Colin's name on his yeah, already. His yeah, and then I have to start the new babies then. Yeah. Okay, so those are things you have seen already. And then I have one more thing that I worked on this week <laughs> because this is going to be for a gift. So I don't think they watch. <laughs> this the the title of this is Olaf and its designer is Lunar Fox. Well, I guess I can show you that. That's the designer on Etsy. On Etsy. There we go. I don't know if it's gonna be flipped or not. Oh, sorry. It might be in reverse, I don't know. This is the picture of the design. Kind of like a little stamp. A little stamp with Olaf doing his happy dance. And I did this on Icelandic blue. Which actually, I, I don't think. I'm just checking to see if he called for any. They. Uh, yes, they, well they said Ice Blue Ada, and this was Icelandic Blue. I'm sure I ordered it from Fat Quarter Shop. 
And there's Olaf. Isn't he sweet? So you may think that I'm a little concerned about the light blue that's on there on the edges right now. But it is solid. It's surrounded that by dark blue. And it's surrounded by, you know, it goes to medium to dark. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine with it. Um, yeah, so that was a start and some progress. Yeah, nice. And that'll be, you can whip that up, no problem. Well, and I was, as Victoria usually points out, uh, I usually don't pay attention to how big it is. <laughs> so I was pleasantly surprised in this case because last I did not check. And then I'm like, as per usual, what? I know. And I'm like, what? Oh yeah, 35 by 43. 35 by 43. I'm like, I can nail this. Not with doing all those other things because I still like to rotate. But yeah, he is so cute. That and is the cute. one thing Chris discovered once we started watching Floss Tube was that she doesn't actually want to be a monogamous stitcher. Right? You said that? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I, it keeps it me you, stimulated yeah. so that I'm when I'm stitching every day. And I'm not sure I stitched every day this week, but close, close, yeah, close. close. And you know, and the the navy was a challenge for me because I wear contacts. So 90% of the stitching I'm doing, I'm wearing through cheaters. If I take my contacts out, I go a lot more quickly. But it just I don't get blocks of time, which we talked about before. Right. I don't get long blocks of time. Yeah. So we'll work on that on vacation. I don't know if we're gonna be doing stitching <laughs> on the plane. Oh no, here's Sophia. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not me. I don't think I'll be stitching with Sophia on the plane, but that's okay. I'm grateful that Florida's only like two hours for us on the plane. Mm -hmm. So 22 hours in the car. <laughs> 22 hours in the car with the stops. Oh, when we drove. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, with Sophia, that's what it would be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I lots did of great progress. I did want to inspire Nino. Yeah, Chris did some shopping. What did you um, go for? The first thing was the gobbles, right? right? But we forgot our market. We, it wasn't in our bag, we forgot it. Yeah, so um, this is the one I wanted. I just, I think these turkeys are hilarious. I wanna get all of them. Um, so this would be the first one I've ever gotten. So Rudolph and Alfino, Alfina, this is the gobble couple. And um, this was their market release. Ori TM, A-U-R-Y-T-M. And it's like a reindeer and an elf. I just think they're funny. I think they're cute. Yeah, and then I opened the pad and I was like, ooh, it's kind of hard to read. It's a little light, um, but that's okay. Super cute. That was the one thing that I went for. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> um, and this was also a market that yeah, we this wanted. Was, this was a market that I wanted. That we didn't have. Erica Michaels stitch all things. And this has the strawberry that um, Helen D is doing all these strawberries. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Okay. Yeah. Then you picked up this, which we'd seen before. Not a market release, but a Priscilla and Chelsea. We have the gingerbread cookies, and I just... I am going to... I do intend to stitch these sometime. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Carrot cake. Carrot cake. And that is, like, my dad's favorite um, cake. Yes. So for birthdays and then it was, like, mine. And then I had also wanted these from Market. It's a co um, collaboration between Blue Flower and Lindy Stitches. And it's called Spring Forest Scrapbook. And I kept saying snapshot to Chris on the phone. But I'm there. What else? Scrapbook. I'm like, they look like little pictures. I don't know. <laughs> so this one is the Blue Flowers pattern. And they're made so that you could stitch all of them in one piece. I just think they're so cute. So four for her, and then five for Lindy Stitches. Stephanie Webb. I fell in love with the hedgehogs, of course. And then on the back, this is what it would look like all together. So we picked up both of those, and then I said, I, they have a fabric that would work. Grab it. And so pick, Chris picked out um, Atlantis. This is a new fabric. Mm -hmm. So kind of hold it back. 16 count. 16 count. Cause you know, <laughs> why not do another big blue piece of fabric? Like I, I haven't done that before. Just you, my you Christmas list. <laughs> well, and you also did your um, the 12 months. Yeah. So I don't know, I, this fabric's gorgeous. 
This is actually, yeah, 18 by 20, 21 of that. So that's cut for that piece. And Chris got some fabric as well. Okay, when we were trying to find something to work for that. The springtime, yeah. Um, this is called, it's Rogue 28 Count, so it's an even weave, and it's called Wild Mint. Oh, I love this color. Um, not really coming up true to color. That's better. It's very, very pretty. It's mottled. It's like a, a little color. more green than you're seeing. Right. Well, and actually, that'd be perfect. Yeah. So, um, I know Victoria might not stitch this this vacation, but I want to do something that I call my vacation stitch. And so I got this Welcome Spring from Priscilla and Chelsea. This is the is this a tid, treat to your tray tidbit? Yeah. They come out with two patterns a week that are just like PDF downloads. Mm -hmm. This so, is welcome. Spring. So I'm I'm holding this up because I think this would work really great on this fabric if you can see the the coloring. That that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Yep. It's perfect. Yeah, I just have to be brave to do the even weave. Mm -hmm. And then what's this fabric for? That's for the um, the spring. What are those called? This is Lila Studios. Oh, spring trio. No, quartet. There's four of them. Yeah, there's there's two packages of four. Spring parade. Lila. Spring parade. Yeah, that's it. And um, the L and down. it's called yeah, lamb's, it's lamb's wool. wool. And it's a 16 count. <laughs> and they surged all the sides for me. Yeah. So, and then this is one I love. Silver Creek samplers. <laughs> And I love Mr. Rogers. I don't love sheep, but this is just too cute to pass up. Yeah, because it's brilliant. It's brilliant. So this is Fred's unifying question. Um, will you be my neighbor? Try to get that so you can see it nice and okay. clear. Will you be my neighbor? He's wearing his red sweater. I love it. So I just think, yeah. Mr. Rogers, that's like right up my alley. <laughs> uh, so definitely going to be doing that one eventually. This is like a collection piece for me at this point. Um, just because I think it's so great. Will you? Will you? Get it. Will. I get it. You? You? you. So exciting! I yeah. pay Chris for those. But um, yeah, all the stitchy goodness. More haul. You know, we're really good at shopping. But again, like... To be it's fair, minus periodic. you doing the Priscilla and Chelsea like weekly, <laughs> um, we don't do it like that often. Like it's maybe right like twice a year. No, and you know it's funny because I was thinking about what are my plans going to be in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like the things that I have now to work on. Yeah, that you're rotating. Through. Yes. Yeah. Like like you know I was thinking about so. Next week that includes the 31st. I know we'll be on vacation, so it'll kind of be jazzed up because I'd like to do Halloween. I'm like, I want to do the griff the the sorting hat on my Hogwarts. Really? Like, I just I <laughs> like it, and I I do, do like it. it. It's hard though. I mean, it's not. It's it a lot hard. of confetti. Yeah. Right. You know, and I just I think of and I touch them. Yeah. And I'm like, I really do want to do these, and I, I like the variety. So that's what yeah. I noticed this past week, is. It helps the Small, different, big, right, different fabrics, yeah. right, right. It gets encouraging because you feel like you make some progress. Yeah, and I feel like I keep expanding. You know, I if if I do that Priscilla and Chelsea on that even weave, that'll be my second even weave. Yeah, you know, and it's basic, and it's doable. Yeah, the Priscilla and Chelsea patterns are small enough that like if you're trying a new fabric or you're trying a new count. Right. Something small like that makes you feel like, okay, yeah, this isn't bad. It's interesting though, because I've heard people on FlossTube say they've tried other counts and they're like, nope, I'm just a blank stitcher. I've tried it and now I know. Right. So that might be you too. If we had a sweet spot of what we like to stitch on, there probably is a specific fabric that we particularly enjoy. Right. I mean, like, I would say right now, of like the overdyed, it would be Forbidden Fiberco. Yeah. Because they get those monthly. Yep. And, um, yeah, because that's the Celadon, and that's, mm -hmm. I got one other one going on in that Snapshot series. Yep. 
exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the stitchy things. But we have a giveaway. We didn't tell you it last week, um, so we're going to tell you it this week. Um, cr uh, Creative Carol Design sent us an extra bag. Oh, I can get it. Car uh, Carol's going to get it. Chris is going to get it. Um, and you guys wrote such good things. I love how you're like, I guess I'm not a spring chicken. I'm like, neither am I. Literally, I my doctor goes, well, you're having some sciatica pain. And I was like, I don't think I'm old enough for that. This. So this is the cute pattern. This is the cutest chicken bag I've ever seen. With that chicken wire framing on that. This, I'm sorry, is like the cutest chicken bag if you like chickens. And yeah, and it's always interesting because we know people who have chickens. Yes. Like, I don't know if that's everywhere or just Illinois. But I also learned about 4-H. Have you ever heard of 4-H? I've heard of that, yeah. When I lived in LA and I was like, what's 4-H? They're like, we raise pigs, like as kids, and then we compete them. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what? How is this possible? All right, so thank you so much for your comments. We got 46 comments. Yay. So lots of people. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> And the winner is Gina Cates! Yay! Gina! Yay, Gina. Congratulations. We love Gina. Gina comments every week. She's the sweetest ever. She said, great video. Chris, your finishes look fantastic. I love your tear tray. I'm working on Let's Talk Spring oh, by Hands On Design. Very good choice. We love Hands On Design. <laughs> Started it last year, but for some reason didn't get very far. Happy stitching. Yay, Gina! We are so excited for you. So Gina, will you email us, um, our email's down below, just stitchyfix at gmail.com, and send us your address and we'll send this to you. Yay, Gina! Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for submitting and chatting with us, literally. Like sometimes on my 20 minute lunch break, that's all I get in a day. I read the YouTube comments because they make me so happy, especially if like I edited late into the night because I got Sophia down and then I did schoolwork and then I'm like, wanna get this up so that we're not like so far behind and then I don't see the comments until the next morning and I'm like, oh, my 20 minute break is so nice. Yeah, nice it's comments. very validating. Yeah. And then I'm like, Chris, Chris, and I'm Chris. At work. Did no. you see how nice people are being to you in the comments? Thank you very much. Yes. She's <laughs> so demure. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I always wonder. People are like, you're just like your mom. I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't know how we're the same. Because she's an Energizer Bunny. And I'm so a sleepy you. sloth. No, I'm a sleepy sloth. <laughs> she has energy when we're doing this. Yes. I can turn it on. <laughs> Anyways, you and Mary Tyler. Moore. Yes. So we uh, hope you enjoyed some stitchy chatting and some stitchy progress. We don't know if we'll film next week. Maybe we'll do something from Disney. I don't know. It would be fun to do something from Disney. It might just be like on Instagram stories or something like that. Something quick. My technical my technology person will <laughs> let you know what it's gonna be. And so if you don't follow us on Instagram, you should follow us on Instagram. Um, it's just Stitchy Fix. <laughs> wow, what a, what an <laughs> ingenious title. We like our title. Uh, but you can sometimes see like random smatterings of stories and such. And yeah, we're just cru cruising along. Today's Chris's birthday. She's gonna have a nice dinner. Anyways, we hope that you had a great week and we can't wait to hear from you and we hope you stitch as much as you want. Or as little as you want. Or as little as you want. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.